When I was a kid, I wanted to be successful. I always kind of admired my dad uh, for the way that he kind of created business. And he found a way to get whatever he wanted to. It always got done, you know? I was brought up with the philosophy that if you want something, go get it, you know, figure it out. He would buy me a box of cigars and he would say, okay, you know, go, if you want to come to the game, I'm going to give you a ticket, but you're going to work for it in some way. You know, and he would send me out and I would go sell cigars to, to fans tailgating in the game. So when I was young, what I wanted to be was kind of him. I wanted to, you know, be my own boss and I wanted to have the freedom to do things the way that I wanted to do them. Coming out of, out of Penn, I, you know, I, I was joining the race. I worked at Smith Barney, I worked at a real estate investment bank, and you know, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, it's funny, I had to call my dad up, right, and I was like, all right, dad, I'm, you know, went, graduated from Penn, I went to Penn, and now I'm gonna quit my job as an investment bank, and I'm gonna go sell windows. For my first day, I was forced to be competitive. I was forced to set goals, and I was forced to achieve those goals if I wanted to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And the best part was is that they gave you kind of a path. They allow you to get to the result any way possible, which goes back to what I was doing for my whole life anyway. They asked me and Jake Lieberman, who's now the Vice President of Sales, uh, if we wanted to relocate and move up to Connecticut and, and open that office. So. Spent about two years in Connecticut running that office, developing people, growing the office, and ultimately we were able to promote two people into regional vice presidents to take over the office in Connecticut, which allowed me now to move out to Chicago. We talked about, you know, what, what that would entail. Moving our lives, starting over in terms of building a staff, developing mentors, developing leaders, you know, and, um, you know, kind of taking the last two years of what we've done and kind of like hitting the restart button and starting over. You're a part of what you're doing here. It's a living, breathing thing. And we work with real people who have real goals and, and have real families and real dreams. And, and now I'm in a position to help other people obtain that. I believe in what I'm doing here because there's never been anything said to me that hasn't come true. And uh, over the last three years, when I look at myself in the mirror now, that's who I am. You know, I, I am somebody who can open an office. I am somebody who can give, be given a challenge, and, and I know that I'll find the answer. I can confidently say that I'll never work for another company for the rest of my life. I want to be able to give my family the things that I had growing up. So if I had a son, I want him to admire that everything that you want, you have to earn. Um, I want him to admire that sometimes you do things for the betterment of your company or for the betterment of other people, not just yourself. And I want him to, I want him to respect that nothing's given to you in life. And if you have that mindset, that you can do whatever you want. And I think that, you know, looking back, that's what I respect about, you know, my dad. And this company allows me to, to demonstrate that. I work at Power because I see endless opportunity here. 